hey, Cincinnati, what's happening? So yes, let's today, let's talk about cat phobia. I'm sure everybody out there in uh, this world has some kind of phobia. So I just wanted to uh, chat with you guys about mine. I'm actually afraid of the feline family. I was babysitting when I was about 13 for this family down the street from uh, my dad's house. Um, the family's name was Burdens, Katha and Larry Burden. They had three children, um, kind of like ours, you know, two years apart, and two girls and a boy. So um, how our lives parallel each other, except we have a dog, they had a cat. Anyway, they had a Siamese cat. One evening, they decided to go out, and they told me they weren't coming back until later. And I said, okay, you know what? I'll just take a little snoozy here on the couch. And uh, when they come in, then I'll just pop right up. So they came home. I heard the door open, and guess what? The Siamese cat was laying on my stomach. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what in the world are you doing? So anyway, long story short, that was the beginning of the end of my fear of felines. So I ran all the way home, which was probably 200 meters, and that was the beginning of my track days. I didn't realize how fast I could run. I felt like the cat was chasing me, but you know what? It probably wasn't. Just being a little dramatic. So a few years later, I was eh, maybe 18, went over to my friend Lisa's house. Lisa has a twin, her name is Linda, so we called him Lisa and Linda Fowler. Anyway, Lisa had a cat, and I didn't know she had a cat in the house. So I was actually sitting on her sofa in this scraggly, homeless little cat comes downstairs, and I started screaming at the top of my lungs, and I stood up on her love seat. I'm like, She was like, girl, you better get off my new furniture. I'm like, oh, this was new. Could have fooled me. Uh, it, was, uh, it looked like it was gently used. But anyway, that's beside the fact. Well, she put the cat away, so that's one story. And then my daughter Taylor told a story about this time when we went to Cleveland, Ohio to see my best friend, Patricia Nobles, and her husband, Walt, and the kids, Destiny, Ethan, Walter, and Matias. And anyway, they had a dog named Samson, which was a chocolate lab. And then I kind of forgot about the cat, because that was Walt's cat. That was not Trish's cat. Trish did not like cats, but actually the cat moved with them. And I totally forgot that the cat was in the house. The cat, I believe, was in the laundry room. So I'm sitting there talking to Trish in the kitchen. Cat comes out thinking that it's coming towards me. And you know what? I lost it, guys. I leaped, literally leaped into her arms. I was so frightened. I thought I was going to have a panic attack. So anyway, got through that one okay. And then several times over the last few years, just going on vacation in the Caribbean. And, you know, this last time we went to Punta Cana and they have what's called Island cats, you guys familiar with island cats? Anyway, they're very annoying. I mean, like totally annoying to the fact where it's like, can you guys just like ban these? Otherwise, I'm not coming back here anymore. I don't care if it's all inclusive. Uh, the cats just really get on my nerves. So we were out and about and I knew these cats were in the area. And so my son, who's quite like my youngest daughter, Taylor, little jokester. Um, I'm standing in line getting my food and he takes his hand and he rubs up against my calf and I'm like, ah! everybody was like, what's wrong with this lady? So anyway, um, that was just like another issue of cats. And I have to tell you that my dog, I let my dog loose about four or five months ago to chase a cat. You know, she chased that cat all the way up a tree and the, the cat finally came down and like bit her and clawed her. And so like right now, my dog um, didn't get the best of the cat. So that's another reason I don't like cats. And this lady a couple doors over, she's got these wild cats and she's got some serious issues, but we don't wanna talk about her because she may see this on YouTube. Um, so we will remain nameless, okay guys? So anyway, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. In fact, I'm not really trying to go through therapy or anything. So 
Uh, we're just going to, you know, keep our distance and not get, you know, like overly excited or anxious. Don't want to induce any panic modes or moments, you know, to throw the blood pressure up because right now I'm pretty healthy. So don't really want to um, get on any kind of medication for these cats because it's not that serious. So you know what? I am just going to stick to dogs because you know what? They say a dog is a man's best friend. And look at this little precious thing right here. Want me to give her a belly rub. Look at her. Isn't she sweet? She is sweet as pie. I just love this little one. Oh my goodness gracious, Bella. So with that note, for all you folks out there in cat phobia land, it's not the end of the world. You keep doing what you're doing and get your little four-legged doggy that will fill the void. Love you guys. Stay tuned.